Helpful place. Limit one per household. Offer valid at participating A store Saturday, November 26, 2011 only. The weekend is coming. The weekend is coming. Additional conditions and other exclusions apply. PM Show Weekend Edition on CRN Digital Talk Radio. I'm Michael Horn. That's Michael Reagan. Give us a call at 800 336 2225. Email us at info at crni.net. So I guess the uh, Dodger bids are uh, being uh, Rick Caruso and Joe Torre have pulled their bid from the Dodgers. They're out of the running. So is uh, the great Peter O'Malley, former Dodgers owner. Well, who's in it? I think Magic Johnson's still in it and that uh, one agent that's uh, that had the Atlanta Braves guy or something with him. Anyway, they're pulling their bids because they say they can't make money if they can't have the parking lot. And... Uh, why can't they have the parking lot? Because uh, Frank McCourt's going to keep the parking lot. He's going to sell the Dodgers in the stadium, and he wants to keep the parking lot. Not going to happen. You can't do that. He is going to. That's what he's. That's the whole. Well, you're deal. right. You can't make money. So they pull their deal. You have to make. You have to make tickets so cost prohibitive to go to a game that's to make right. up for the difference for the twenty dollar parking fee. Exactly. And can you imagine if Frank McCourt? I mean, is, really? Why do you want to give Frank McCourt the parking lot? That's where all the gangbangers are. That's right. But Frank is keeping that. He's already said. You know what I do? I blow the place up. You would build a new one. They ought to do what they did in Phoenix. They've done Seattle. Put it all downtown. The football stadium, Staples Stadium, the whole thing, all downtown. Go down there, enjoy a football game, baseball game, whatever it is. Because I got to tell you, I went to. You know, I've been going to Dodger Stadium for years. I remember when it started with Walter O'Malley, the O'Malley. Sure. And what have you. And back then, that area was nice. Today, it is gangbanger country. You're not safe up there with your family at all. I don't go up there anymore. I don't take my wife up there. I don't take my son up there, my daughter up there. Because I tell you, to go up there, you better be carrying a gun just to protect yourself. It is a little different than so Anaheim forget- Stadium where the Angels play. That's right. Absolutely right. You know, Angel's play is really nice. You take the uh, you take the blue line or the red line down there, get off, go to the game. It's nice. It's clean. Dodger Stadium is nothing but a bunch of hoodlums. And they're getting Frank McCourt. The reason he's having to sell the club and the reason that club's gone in the tank is because what happens in the parking lot, they're going to let him keep that? You know, one of the things that Dodgers, Level it. new promotions coming up this year for the gang members, they're going to have rifle night. Where they give away a complimentary rifle, you can come. Oh out. yeah, in the third inning, you get a bullet. That's you could do all that. It's good. It's interesting. Now, also, there's a, a lady here, a Nebraska woman, who is auctioning off a McDonald's chicken McNugget that she says resembles President George Washington. Her name is uh, Rebecca Sprites. She's from Dakota City, Nebraska, and she's selling this presidential nugget on eBay to raise money for a church summer camp. There's a bid for a hundred dollars so far. The auction ends next week. And uh, they're saying this, uh, the McNugget almost became a snack during a visit to the Sioux City McDonald's uh, three years ago, but she didn't let her kids eat the, uh, the McNugget because uh, she was going to toss it. She said the McNugget was put in her freezer. She wants to raise money. The church needs $15,000. Do you think, and I'm going to hold this up for those of you, go to our website at crntalk.com, that that McNugget looks like uh, our first president of the United States, President George Washington? I think it looks like Mrs. Bush. It looks like uh, President George Washington with kind of a little more of a hook nose, I think. The no, nose. I think, it looks, I think it looks like Barbara Bush. All right, there you have that. There, and then, the only thing that's missing on the nuggets are the pearls. Really? Yeah, you put the pearls put the on, you pearls get more there, money. You get some money there. I mean, all... There are people out there like that to look at. Who looks at McNuggets and says, what does this McNugget look like? This is I mean, the, the same people that I'm vote for President Barack Obama. The other, the other morning was having Cheerios. Yes. You know, there was enough Cheerios in there, and my Cheerios looked like the face of Jesus. So did you take a picture oh of it? Oh, my God. No, I ate it. <laughs> Don't do that. We are not having a good show here today. Just at least swirl it around a little bit so it gets back into the oh my God. big G little O's. That, People have too much time on their hands. There's a kid that uh, has discovered a new talent while unpacking his dishwasher. He's hoping to win an entry to the Guinness Book of Records, and uh, they're going to see if he's the best mug holder ever. 
This guy is named Chris. He's from Darlington County, Durham, and uh, he was in the kitchen emptying the dishwasher. He started hanging mugs off his fingers, not even thinking about it. Then his friend Max says, hey, how many mugs you got there? And so he said, I think I had about 10. And then he said, keep going, keep going, see how many you can get. And by the end, he got up to 16, and Max said, it's got to be a record. Uh, Absolutely. So they went to the Guinness Book of World Records website. Turned out there isn't a category for holding mugs. So he emailed an application to be the first record holder. And uh, there you have it, 16 mugs this kid is going to be holding up. Wow, that will make him famous. That's it. That'll let He'll never have to work another day in his life. I think you and I could beat that record of 16. As long as they're filled with beer. No, these are empty. These are... <laughs> Not full. Have you ever you ever been to Hofbrau House in Germany? Oh, yes, I have. Those in women Munich. up there who are bigger than sumo wrestlers? They can hold a few mugs. Care. How many mugs of beer can they hold on their hairy arms? Huh? Now you got the That's Germans angry record. at us. Is there <laughs> now the Germans are upset with us. Oh, my God. We're going to talk about... I was born German. Three days we... later, I was Irish. How did that happen? I was adopted. Thank you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the great Michael Reagan is here. We're going to talk Academy Awards. You got your picks ready to go for the Academy Awards? Does that include? No. No? Did you see any of them? The artist. That's what's going to win. Just the artist and you sound like a genius. It's 30 past the hour on the PM show.